Ready to fly like this? Join us and build this soda can chuck glider. First, some basic supplies starting with this foam roller with a 2 cm diameter, a pencil end 4.5 cm long, two 7 8 inch screw eyes with the ends cut off, and finally two 1 and 1 8 inch screw eyes. Start by twisting the larger screw eyes into the eraser end of the pencil. Note that the eraser has been trimmed flush with the metal end. Perfect, now for the next step. Next, slide the two smaller screw eyes over the metal ferrule as shown. This will help balance out our nose weight. First one's on, now for the second one. The piece should look just like this when completed. Next, we add the foam roller. We'll need to slip the pencil through the center of the roller and then glue it into position. Perfect. Now we're ready to trace and cut out the forward fuselage. Just like our previous glider, the templates will be available to download from the link in the description. Next, we need to roll the nose weight tightly inside the forward fuselage as shown. Dab glue on the trailing edge, then roll and hold until the glue sets. Once the piece looks like this, we're on to the next step. Use the template provided to trace and cut out the rear fuselage piece. Next, use a wooden dowel or similar tool to round the fuselage as shown. Trim off a portion of the trailing edge after marking it off. Now roll the rear fuselage narrower at the tail than the front. Glue along the edge of the piece as shown. Next, glue the rear fuselage over the trailing end of the forward fuselage. Slip a piece of foam roller over the nose weight and glue it into position. The pencil end should be flush with the fuselage as shown. Our fuselage with nose weight is complete. Next up, we move on to the wings. Use the templates provided to trace and cut out our delta-shaped wings. You'll need a top and bottom piece for each wing. Next, cut out a pair of rectangular-shaped pieces from can. Fold the first one in half as shown. Then glue it to the inside trailing edge of the wing, like so. Do the same with the remaining piece. This time, we'll glue it in front of the first piece. Repeat the same steps for the other wing piece. These will serve as wing mounting brackets for attaching the wing to the fuselage in the next steps. Perfect. Before we mount the wing, we first need to glue the two halves together. The first of our two delta wings is complete. First, we round the brackets to better fit the fuselage. Then we mark the position of the wing with a sharpie. Finally, we glue the first wing into position on the fuselage as shown. We use the previous steps to complete the other wing. Then glue the two halves together. And then we glue the other wing into position as shown. The vertical tail is next. Use the template to cut out a left and right tail piece. We use the same rectangular shaped cam brackets like we did with the wings, fold them the same way, then glue them to the inside of each half of the tailpiece as shown. We glue the two halves of the vertical tail together to complete the piece. We mark the position off on the rear of the fuselage. Finally, 
we glue the vertical tail into position. Our Delta Wing Chuck Glider is starting to take shape. We use the template provided to trace and cut out the canards. We'll need a top and bottom piece for each canard, and we'll also be making a pair of mounting brackets for each side. Finally, we glue the two halves together. We repeat the same steps to make the other canard. Next, we make the bends to the canard as shown. These folds will be essential to the Delta Wing Glider's flight, so we need these as precise as possible. Mark the position of the first canard at the nose of the aircraft. Then glue it into position as shown, as level as you can place it. Line up the second canard with the first and mark its position. Finally, glue the second canard in place. We'll cover the canard angle later on in the video in the flight tips. Next, we need to cut two strips of can to make our flaps. First, we cut each of the flaps out. Then we fold them the same way we did to create a mounting bracket. We trim them to the same length as the trailing edge of our wings. Then we glue the flaps to the trailing edge of the wing, as shown. We repeat these steps to install the flaps on the opposite wing. Next, we'll make a throwing grip for our glider. We cut another strip of can to make this. We fold it in half as shown, then bend back two flaps we'll use to glue it to the underside of the fuselage. Next, we glue the center section together. Then we glue the grip to the bottom edge of the forward fuselage as shown. Then we trim off the edges. And finally, trim off the grip a bit. Then we reinforce it by folding a piece of can in half and we glue it over top. We glue on a neat little Nerf gun bullet canopy and we're just about ready to fly. To get the most out of your glider, make sure the nose weight stays flush with the fuselage. For longer flights, make the flap angle between 20 and 35 degrees. Make sure the canard tips are vertical before every flight. Let's see how it flies. The blue flag at the center of the screen is 52 feet from the thrower's position. First throw, over 57 feet. Second throw flew over 58 feet. Third throw flew almost 60 feet. Another flight of almost 60 feet. This flight made it approximately 62 feet. This flight made it approximately 61 feet. And the final flight goes approximately 56 feet. We hope you'll download the templates so you can build this amazing glider and test fly it yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.